What's going on guys? This is Malcolm and you are on Malcolm Talks. Thank you for visiting the channel. You know, today is one of those days. It's a somber day. It's my cousin's funeral today. His name is Greg, was Greg, and he died. He had cancer. He had cancer and it was like, like 44 years old, I think. 45, something like that, young. Um, <clears throat> you know, he was having back issues about a year and a half ago. He used to cut hair. And he was having back issues and he ended up going to the doctor to see what was going on with his back. Come to find out he had stage four cancer. And when they did a little more research, they found out it was testicular cancer. Which is kind of crazy because I talked to him and while he was at Grady and what he was saying was, you know, I didn't have any pain in my testicles or anything like that. So it was a surprise to me to see that I had stage four testicular cancer. When he said that, I was like, man, what? That's crazy, bro. And, um, and then about, I say three or four months ago, they found out that he had a brain tumor. You know, um, and that it was progressively getting worse and worse. And then he ended up in hospice about a month and a half or two months ago or something like that. And he ended up passing away not too long ago, man. You know, it happened all so quick. And, um, you know, we grew up together. You know, we weren't like super close, but that's my cousin, man. That's still my cousin, man. We, we were, you know, we were, we were pretty close when we were younger. Um, but then we kind of fell out of touch and I would see him maybe every five, six years I see him, you know what I mean? And we catch up. Um, I saw him at a bar one time, hanging out with some of his friends. I was with one of my homeboys and we just chopped it up, you know, just talked about life and how we need to get together and do you know, work out some type of partnership so we can, you know, get some money out here and try to build, build something. You know, we used to always talk about that because that's something my granddaddy used to push real hard. Our granddaddy used to push, you know, about the family getting together more. And, and you know, we used to always talk about it. That's something we never did. Man. And, um, you know, now he's gone. And he has a sister named Tiffany. He got a he got a son named DeAndre. You know, real smart kid, man. Sister's real sweet, my cousin. You know, so I'm gonna really try to make an effort to, um, you know, hang out, be around my family members more on that side of the family. The family that the side of the family that's got the most kids that I didn't really get a chance to hang out with as we got older, you know what I mean? But um, yeah, man, so it's a sad day, man. But at the same time, I'm glad that Greg is not going through any more pain right now. He's went on home, bro, went home. And now he is there with our granddaddy because our granddaddy died too. And um, you just never know, man. You know, life is short. You know, so I'm not sure what causes cancer and all this stuff and what what even got it to the to that point. You know, I'm not sure how healthy he was or how, how healthy he was living. He didn't seem like he was just sick or anything, you know, so it's kind of strange, man. You know, so you always got to make sure you're getting checked out. Go to the doctor. Make sure you're drinking a lot of water, getting your exercise, you know, not doing drugs, not taking things to the extreme with alcohol and smoking and all this other stuff just try to stay clean man you know what i mean just try to try to do right by your body because there's so many things out here that can take you out man so um you know it's a sad day and i know a lot of people out there are probably dealing with similar situations where they had a a family member that passed suddenly, things like that. Um, so I'm headed to the funeral right now. Right over here off of um, 
I think it's right off of Benjamin E. Mays in Atlanta, Georgia. So I'm gonna go pay my respects. And, uh, but I wanted to definitely do a video. I'm trying to do a video every day on Malcolm Talks, you know, cause this is kinda, I feel like this is kinda my legacy. You know what I mean? Something that my family members and my son and my wife can come back and look at long after I'm gone. I don't know if, the, if YouTube is gonna be around that long, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be around for a long, long time. Which might, which actually reminds me, I wonder if it's a way to download all these videos so I can keep them. Or maybe take them off my phone and put them in a, uh, put them on a file somewhere. But anyway, you know, I hope y'all have a good day, good weekend. One of them days, man. But go ahead, subscribe to my channel. This is Malcolm Young, Malcolm Talks. Make every day count. Don't count the days. I'm going to holler at you guys next time. Peace.